Welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, today I'm going to make a five minute pasta sauce with pancetta. You can use bacon, you can use sausage. Uh, this is basically a method, not a recipe. Uh, I'm not cooking at the same time as I boil the pasta, uh, but you can easily just start the sauce as you start boiling the water for your pasta or even as you're dumping your pasta uh, in the water, the sauce really comes, comes together in that five minutes and it's tasty and fantastic and easy and it doesn't take any fresh ingredients. So it's great to be prepared out of stuff in your cupboard, in your pantry. This is basically going to be all in real time because it takes that little time. As you can see, my pan is quite big. That's because once the pasta is boiled, we are going to saute it in the pan with the sauce. So I'm turning on the heat and here I have my diced pancetta. This is the last piece of pancetta my mom is buying it right now. Quite a strong heat. As the pan heats up, the pancetta starts to melt. As you can see it becomes lighter trans translucent and it renders out. Meanwhile, I'm hello. I have my garlic clove. I bash it under the side of the blade of the knife. I remove the casing and I just root as well and I just roughly chop it. So back to the pan. starting to sizzle, which is what we want to hear. Now I'm adding just a little splash of extra virgin olive oil there. And I'm waiting for the pancetta to completely render out and start going slightly crisp. And meanwhile, I'm having a biscotto with my coffee. Pancetta is popping, so it's very almost ready. In go the garlic. Doesn't need to brown, doesn't need to get colored, just release its perfume. And in goes a small can of tomato. Rinse the can with some water and add the water. So these are really excellent tomatoes. The brand is Muti, I'm not paid for it. I just like this brand. And it really smells very fresh, very good. So next thing I'm doing, I'm adding that pinch of salt and some herbs. In here I have 
dried parsley, a little bit of oregano and uh, some uh, chili flakes, just a pinch. And basically that's it. This doesn't need to cook for very long. If you start it as you drop the pasta, they will be ready together. Just keep adding a splash of water when it dries out so that it doesn't become too gloopy. And basically that's all. I could already use it as it is. I will simmer it for probably five or 10 minutes, reheat it as my pasta is become, getting ready and dropping the pasta in. Most Italian pasta sauces are right of this kind. You do not, do not have to cook a sauce for two or three hours to get it to the perfect consistency and taste. Just use good quality products, have it simmer away for five or ten minutes and you're ready. As long as you follow these principles, um, you can use, as I said, pancetta, bacon, sausage, or you can go vegetarian and just use garlic, maybe a larger clove and the tomato, maybe some onion. You may add uh, olives or capers just to give it some extra flavor. But this is the base of the simplest uh, tomato-based sauces. And here it is, almost finished. Probably two or three minutes passed. It is ready. I can now turn off the pan. As you can see, it has become denser but not gloopy and it still retains the freshness of the tomato although it was canned. Here's the last passage. Uh, first I'm retrieving some of the cooking water from the pasta, putting it aside in the sink. Uh, on the top right you can see my mom who's helping me right, right hand finger. So I'm draining the pasta in a colander. Uh, the last few bits of pasta were sticking to the bottom. It happens sometimes. So I just shake them off with a spoon and dumping them in the sauce and in goes the rest of the pasta. As you can see, I've used two different shapes because they had the same cooking time and they were leftovers. I'm diluting the sauce with a splash of water. And finally, I turn, shake and toss the pasta in the sauce with the water so that it finished cooking and it coats completely in the sauce. It doesn't have to be too dense. I mean the sauce. The starchy water that I added will help the, the sauce to stick to the pan.